Hey, it's Rafael St. John here, the wealthy expat helping you lower your taxes, go to places that welcome your wealth, get a second citizenship, second residence, just improve the freedom in your life. In this video, we're going to talk about the best places to live and spend time or come for the winter or set up your tax company or just spend time in Dubai. There are many places all over Dubai. Dubai is a pretty big city with different sections of it and depending on what lifestyle you like depending on how far you want to be from the center maybe you like more of the beach lifestyle sort of like a resort vibe maybe you like more the business life with a lot of buildings around you maybe you're more used to a city like bangkok or new york that has a ton of buildings everywhere kind of like a concrete jungle there's also that part of the city so we'll talk about the best areas from my experience, from the experience of people that I know here and all my friends that have lived here for a while, obviously it's a little subjective, but I also did some research on some areas that you could potentially look at that I've visited shortly and that I thought were really good to spend time in. The first area that I personally really like, I'm not living there now, but I know a lot of friends of mine that are living there. I know a lot of people absolutely love it. I personally love it. It's the Dubai Marina. It is an artificial marina. It looks pretty cool when you actually see it. And it really looks like a real marina. You have these beautiful buildings and this water and a lot of yachts, one shopping mall, the marina mall, which is quite big actually. So you have a lot of consumer conveniences. You have a lot of restaurants. At night it gets all light up and it just looks absolutely beautiful and there's a lot of expats a lot of people living here There's not that many locals You're probably seeing maybe five or ten locals in your whole day if you actually start walking around marina The great thing about marina as well is that it's slightly cheaper than let's say here where I'm staying Which is another region and it's on the beach. This is where I'm staying right now on the beach marina is about 10 minutes walk to the beach so you can actually just walk to the beach if you don't like being in the beach with all the resorts all the tourists a little bit more of the chaos you like more chilled laid-back lifestyle in the marina then you can go and walk to the beach whenever you like you're also next to the dubai marina mall like i said you have a nice big mall that you can buy pretty much anything there's a lot of grocery stores as well that's also what i don't like about this area which is the second best area that i'm going to talk about which is jumeirah beach residences jbr when they say jbr that's what they mean the beach jumeirah beach here right next to the palm jumeirah i'm in the building called the address beach resort this particular building is absolutely beautiful and it's new if you want to come and live here i can help you get the contact for that I can help you set up the rental agreement and all of that obviously i help people move to dubai move their companies to dubai so i could definitely help with that this particular area more expensive than dubai a little bit more chaos less grocery stores the mall is quite far the marina mall is about 35 minute walk so whenever i want to walk and actually get my cardio on then i walk to the marina mall and then i come back in the marina there's a lot of really small buildings that you could potentially also stay there if you don't like the high-rise lifestyle maybe you like sort of a villa feel of the third floor fifth floor where you have a huge balcony you can look out into the marina here in jbr it's more of high rises so all the buildings here are 30 floors 50 floors my building 77 floors so you do have that vibe of high rises the views are absolutely stunning and there is beach all over so you can go to the beach whenever you like obviously now we're heading into winter depending on when you're watching this winter in dubai from about october to about march the weather is amazing very hot really nice to tan outside and go to the beach and there's a lot of tourists here that you could potentially meet as well maybe you're in the dating scene and you want to meet a nice woman or man whatever you want to meet you can also meet them here there's a lot of tourists a lot of people that want to chat they're being really lively and the great thing about it maybe this doesn't matter when you're watching this video but you don't need to wear a mask if you're on the beach so when you go out of my building you're automatically pretty much on the beach and you don't need to wear a mask throughout all of that part you only need to wear a mask in places like the marina or some places in the marina where there's more people where it's not really on the beach it's not really a touristy area so that's something it's a little benefit to living here i absolutely love it i love my building they have an infinity pool at the top they have a gym on the 75th floor i'll put some pictures here so you know what i'm talking about and i definitely recommend people that want to live a beach resort lifestyle i particularly like Maybe because I'm young, maybe because I made money very recently. I haven't had money for a long time. I just like that luxury life right in front of the beach, feeling like I'm in a resort 
all the time. So you do get that with JBR. The next one, before we go to the Palm Jumeirah, which is the fourth best place, I'll talk about some downsides to living on the artificial Palm Jumeirah. I wanna talk about downtown Dubai. That is the actual center of Dubai, where the banks are, where the Bush Khalifa is, where the Dubai mall is, where all the luxury and the locals are. That's where you're gonna see a lot of people covered in their traditional clothing. You will see a lot of locals there just walking around the Dubai mall or walking outside. A lot of local restaurants, a lot of Arab restaurants as well. So if you like that, let's say concrete jungle, being next to everything. That's also where a lot of the nightclubs are. Nightclubs here are quite tough to get into. So be ready to spend a lot of money, at least maybe a grand or 1.5K to actually get into a club if you wanna go out clubbing and meeting people in the clubbing scene. Those are mainly right next to downtown. Over here in the marina, in the JBR area, we have some lounges, we have some bars, but not really any nightclubs, like pumping music nightclubs. So you do have that in the downtown. You have the Dubai Mall, which is giant. They have an aquarium inside. You can walk all over Dubai Mall. You can go to the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, and check out Dubai from the top and you will be close to a lot of consumer conveniences, a lot of restaurants, a lot of grocery stores, the banks are always there. The company that actually registers businesses for my clients and helps me with that, actually move them to a zero tax company here in Dubai. They're in downtown as well. So that all the business is happening in downtown. I have some friends that love living in the address Skyview. That is a building that is quite similar to mine. They're both address, that's a company. Address, they're made by Emar, which is a building company here, a real estate company. And that particular Skyview one also has an infinity pool, but it's right next to a bunch of buildings. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of buildings there. So that, I like it for a little bit. I like going there. It's about a 20 minute, 25 minute ride from JBR over to the downtown. If you like living close to everything where most of the wealth is really, you wanna stay in the downtown area and you can always come to the beach a couple of minutes, 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes with traffic. With that Skyview building, very similar to mine, very luxurious, feeling like in a resort. There are a lot of locals there, so it's not really touristy, it's more local. There's a lot of people that come from Saudi Arabia or Kuwait, so you do feel that Arab vibe. Living there, my friends absolutely love it and they do like living there. There's another building called Burj Vista, which I particularly like. They have a great gym, it's very new, it's quite high level, like it's it's very fancy, let's say, or very developed. And I do like that particular building. If you wanna check it out on Google or Airbnb, you can definitely check that one out. I particularly love it. Now, let's say you want more of a retreat lifestyle of just being far from everything or being in an artificial palm, the Palm Jumeirah. The Palm Jumeirah actually is an absolutely great place to live and it's actually cheaper then JBR, then Jumeirah Beach Residences, then Marina, because it's so far. Some places in the Palm Jumeirah, you see them on booking.com, Airbnb, whenever you're trying to rent an apartment, and you think, wow, this apartment looks amazing. It's on the Palm, it's next to the beach. But depending on where it is on the Palm, it can be a 30 minute ride over to JBR here with traffic. For example, there's a lot of traffic in the Palm sometimes. So you do need to be careful where you pick, specifically if you pick on the outside, of the palm, you will have to drive a ton of time just to get to the base of the palm because it is quite complex and quite complicated to drive all over. So be careful with that. Make sure if you are going to stay in the palm, you wanna be connected to the rest of Dubai. Stay in the base of the palm right next to a hotel called the Five Palm. It's like a V, like a Roman Five. That hotel is quite awesome. If you wanna stay in a luxury hotel that you wanna really enjoy and has a beach, that one I definitely recommend it. And check for apartments that are right next to it or very close to it so you're not far away from the main action, from the touristy areas, like here in the JBR. Right next to the Palm, there's a place that they're developing right now. It's not really open, but it's called Ahmad Beach Front. It's like they wanna turn it into the Miami of Dubai. JBR is sort of like Miami, like an Arab Miami, or for the Australians, kind of like a Gold Coast. It's very similar to the Gold Coast in Australia. So they wanna turn it into that very huge vibe party city but with that arab vibe with a little bit of strictness from the arab side and obviously people are here to save on taxes to pay zero taxes so there's a lot of luxury there so definitely they're developing that area really well i really want to see how it looks like in the next three to five years it's going to be amazing the next place that i have for you if you want a little bit more of a home you don't want to stay in an apartment you don't want to stay in a villa 
You want to stay in your own house, like actually have a house that is, let's say, 300 square meters or 3,000 square feet, whatever you like. You can look at Emirates Hills. Anything that has hills next to it, probably their homes. So you got Damak Hills, you got Emirates Hills, you got other ones like hills. Anything that ends in hills is usually homes and they're pretty big. I've been to some of these. For example, I have a colleague here that works and well, actually she works in the downtown, but she lives in one of these hills. And it's absolutely beautiful. The homes are huge. They have that style like in Boca Raton. I don't know if you've been to that part of Florida. Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton. Just looks exactly like that, like homes right next to each other. They're huge. Everybody's rich. You got supercars in front of the homes. So it's quite an interesting vibe. And they do have a lot of grocery stores. They have gyms. Every building here tends to have a gym unless you live in a very bad building, which if you're watching this video, you're probably not gonna live in a bad building, but they do have gyms. They have, for example, schools around those areas as well. And they're a little bit far away from the center. So for example, they're about 20, 25 minutes from downtown, 30 minutes from JBR and so on. So they're a little bit far away, but definitely a different lifestyle. You're not gonna see tourists there. You're more gonna see expats, locals, people that are living there for a long time. So definitely if that's what you're looking for, the prices for real estate are gonna be way cheaper than in Marina, than in JBR because it's farther away. So if you're looking more for a home, maybe you have two or three kids that you need a lot of rooms for, then that's definitely something to consider. There's another area as well called Springs. I've also been to that area. They have huge homes, absolutely beautiful homes, just like in Fort Lauderdale or in Boca Raton, like I was talking about, or different areas. For example, they're trying to make it very similar to Florida. It's what I've seen a lot of regions here. They take a lot of inspiration from Florida and they take a lot of inspiration from the Gold Coast in Australia. So that's funny that they combine them both. They add their Arab mix and then make them look at that. So the Springs definitely a little bit cheaper than Emirates Hills. And you can also find really good homes over there. Another area that I recommend, which is a little bit it's interesting, I would say, because they're trying to build it into this jungle with a lot of trees. They're importing a lot of trees from Africa, actually, or different regions of the world, and they're putting them in this beautiful array of nature is Albarari. Albarari, you'll, you'll see how it's written here. You can check it up on Google. It's quite beautiful there. I've been there. It's a little bit far away from the actual center from the city. I do have one crypto friend that lives around Alberari. He has a giant house. It's a huge house. Plus there's about, I would say 400 square feet of garden outside. So it's, it's absolutely giant. The terrace that they have and everything is just huge. So let's say 400 square meters, 4,000 square feet of balcony and of terrace and of garden and everything. So they do have a nice space there that you can potentially have for, let's say, growing your own crops or maybe just having your kids running around or having a nice pool and everything. He also has a really nice pool, putting your cars in there, your car collection and so on. They are trying to develop it in a way where it doesn't feel like you're in a desert. It feels more like you're in a jungle. There's a lot of trees everywhere. So that one is in development. A lot of the prices are quite cheap. You can actually buy some of these homes with crypto. A lot of the investors and the people that own these homes actually take Bitcoin in order to sell you one of these homes. So it's actually really cool how you can buy some of them in crypto. You can buy them in cash, even if you like. So that's definitely something to consider and an area that you should definitely check out. Now, before we wrap up, let's talk about the areas to avoid in Dubai. There's some great areas, but there's some areas that are not that great. The first one being data. Data is a little bit farther away from downtown. So if you look at the map of Dubai, sort of like a line like this, then you got the Palm, you got the Business Bay. It's also a nice area. Let's call it downtown as well. And then at the top, a little bit higher, 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 you got Deira. Don't live there. Absolutely terrible. You got also where the Dubai frame is. You got Sabil. That's also kind of downtown. So that area is quite nice. You got Dubai Creek as well, which are developing. It's still in development mode. It's still not quite there yet. I wouldn't recommend you live there yet, but it is quite a nice area that will turn into something nice. You got Al Quos, which is next to Al Kail Mall and in front of the Burj Al Arab. Don't recommend you to live there. I did my driving license there and it's absolutely not beautiful, it's not nice, would not recommend it. And you also have the Jumarai Lakes Towers, which is JLT, they call it JLT, JBR, Marina, JLT, would not recommend you to live there. I've actually stayed there in my Airbnb. 
not that much going on. If you're choosing between JLT and Dubai Marina, Dubai Marina is definitely a safer choice. I don't really like that area. It's just a lot of buildings with this weird water going on between them. It doesn't really look like a marina, so I wouldn't really recommend it. So just to make sure you don't stay in an area where you're not gonna enjoy Dubai and have a bad feeling about the city. If you need help setting up a company in Dubai, moving to Dubai, setting up a residence here in order to pay 0% tax or lower your taxes down dramatically, go to wealthyexpat.com slash apply. I can help you with all of this. Book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and let's see how I can help you set up a base here, set up a base anywhere in the world that you can potentially lower your taxes, get a second citizenship, improve your freedom. And if you want to learn how to move to Dubai and you're a crypto investor or you have some crypto, Dubai is actually welcoming crypto. They have a new crypto residence program, which is absolutely awesome. You can find out more about it in this video right here, Dubai welcomes crypto and how to get a residence permit with a cryptocurrency investment. You're absolutely gonna love that video. Subscribe, hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Hit the like button down below and I'll see you on the next one.